Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Travis and welcome back to an update video. Now, uh, this is the very first video I posted this month and I think it's what, December 22nd today. Um, as I mentioned last month, I really wasn't going to post that much um, during this time of year just because, you know, it's holidays, family, friends, had some personal stuff going on and I just haven't been able to get any free time. Today is actually the only free day I'm going to have for the rest of the year. Um, so this will probably be the only video. Now, I will attempt to do a live stream tomorrow, but I am doing some additional training, getting ready for the competition next month, uh, hence just problems with my face and ears. But um, I've been doing a lot of additional training, getting ready for the competition, so I uh, have been just really been focusing on that. Of course, taking care of orders and all sorts of stuff like that. Now, um, in this video, we're gonna do an update, kind of talk about what happened in the 300, something really crappy happened. I. I guess I saw it coming. I don't know. It, it's, I have some mixed feelings about it, and we'll talk about it. And uh, we'll talk about the new system I put in place for people who are getting 3D printed so you can be notified. If you've ordered 3D printed items over the last month or so, you've already been kind of part of the system now. <clears throat> Losing my damn voice already. Uh, I guess I'm coming down with something, of course. Or maybe I'm just drained, and it's just, it is what it is. But anyways, uh, so let's go to start with the 300. So what happened? Well, I replaced Reggie. If you guys have been here for a while, I had a snowflake eel, uh, Reggie. He was pretty cool. He died of a bacterial infection probably like two years ago, something like that. And um, I've always wanted to get another eel. So about a month and a half ago or two months ago, time frame's a little iffy, but I went ahead and bought a yellow head spotted moray eel, something like that. Pretty cool teeth, super aggressive. Uh, I figured we had the same personality. It was going to be a good fit. He'd be pretty awesome in this tank. And he was, up until the point that I wasn't able to get any silver sides, which is the food that I feed him. Um, they're just like little mini fish. If you've gone to Petco or something like that, you've seen them. They're frozen, kind of on the slab. You thaw them out. <clears throat> but either way, there was like a shortage on just about everything. Welcome to 2021, I guess, right? Um, so I wasn't able to get silver sides for a week. Now, I did attempt to try to feed him um, shrimp and squid that I usually feed and Reggie used to accept. And he just wouldn't take it. Somebody also said to try nori. I wasn't able to get any nori. I probably um, probably should order some of that because uh, you know it's worth a shot. But uh, yeah, he got really bad apparently because he didn't get any food for the whole week, and he wiped out lots of fish. Let's let's see. We had the flame fin tang, flame fin tang, which by the way, out of the grand scheme of fish, I'm really pissed off about. I really love that tang. He's like five inches long, so I don't know how he got him. I think because this rock structure here underneath. That's where the flame fin usually sleeps. All the other fish are kind of in the coral colonies and in the rocks, something higher. And now at night, the eel kind of swims around, kind of looking for a snack, and I guess he must have trapped the flame fin in there. But either way, flame fin is gone. My mated black and white pair of oscillated oscillaris clowns that I've had for like four years, gone. The, uh, the clown that hosts the goniopora here, the little Nemo clown, gone. Uh, yellow chromus gone, black chromus gone, and two of the smaller of the three or four Scopus tanks in that tank, gone. So he did that in a week. Uh, needless to say, I, I didn't really recognize because I don't look at the tank very often. I was down here with a friend the other day and I'm like, wait, I'm missing fish. What's going on here? And sure enough, man, it was, sucks. Just wiped him out. And then I had a dream that, that night that I found my Ras, which has been gone forever. Um, he's not in there either. He's gone too. I, the eel didn't get him. He died of I don't know, old age maybe. He was really old too. But uh, yeah, so... What can I say? Lesson learned on that. Stock up on silver sides, I guess. Like a lot. I bought like five packs the other day. Uh, I spent like 50 bucks on silver sides because that's not happening again. Um, yeah, I, it was just a week. I didn't really think anything of it like I mentioned on my Instagram post. Uh, basically, Reggie would go a week without eating. No issues. And then he'd be really hungry when I fed him before. But this joker eats like four to six silver sides every single day. Um, and he didn't have that for a week, so he decided to go shopping in the tank and unfortunately wiped out all of those fish. Now, um, do I regret getting him? No. Do I regret not stocking up on silver sides? Yes. Is it going to happen again? No. No. I've learned my lesson on that. Really love the eel. Can't wait for him to get bigger and put him in the 1,000 at some point. But, uh, yeah, smaller fish. Even I mean, it was a 5-inch flame thing. So even larger fish to a certain extent, depending on where they sleep at night, are not even safe with that guy. But... Either way, he's a beautiful eel. I'll try to put some pictures up so you guys can see him. And, uh, yeah, he just kind of, he was snacking in the tank and a little bit emptier. But, anyways, that's pretty much it for the 300. Other than that, I did put some coral back in the tank, trying to grow it out, as I mentioned before. And I haven't really been cutting from the 300. I've actually been cutting from all the tubs. And then I have the low boys over here that I've been cutting from. And, uh, yeah, just trying to 
get a bunch of stuff cut and healed and kind of go out with those packs. Um, I did have, for a little while there, the 20-piece frag pack up. But that stuff got sold out so quickly that I just wasn't able to keep up with it, so I took it down. So uh, maybe in a few months I'll put it back up, so just keep an eye on that. And, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for the reef tank. Everything is normal. I am having an issue getting the high-range HANA tester reagent for nitrates. Yeah, so every time it comes in stock on BRS, it's out of stock before I get a chance to click on it. If I buy it on Amazon, it's like triple the price. So uh, <clears throat> if you guys know a good place I can get it that's pretty decent, let me know. And because uh, I got to get some, I've been out of it for a week or so. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, 3D printers, they were down. I had like four of them down for about uh, three weeks there, two or three weeks. I had some hot end issues, which I tried to solve with some uh, kind of like some fix with some new tubing and just kind of making some adjustments. Finally got everything fixed, got some new nozzles, and now all the printers are back up and uh, running smoothly. So speaking of that, let's go to move over to, I guess, the program. I'll try to do some, maybe I'll do some overlay. Either way, I'm going to try to explain it. So. Uh, within Shopify, I, I downloaded an app which I can assign notifications to, like different orders. I can send notifi notifications to different orders with this app, and I have it set up now. So when I get your order, you're gonna you're gonna get a notification that says, "Hey, your your 3D printed order is next in line," which means it's in the pile. It's gonna be going on a printer as soon as one is available. As soon as your printer, your print or your order goes on a printer, uh, you'll get another notification saying, hey, your order is being printed now. They'll be done within a few days. Now, depending on you know, if you have a $300 order with a whole bunch of things or you just have some pump guards, of course, it's going to take a little bit of time depending on how big your order is. But either way, the point is that it's going to be sending notifications to you guys, keeping in the loop because right now we're about 100 orders in queue for 3D printing, which is pretty average and normal. I do have 22 printers and they are running 24 seven for the occasional, you know, exception of the occasional one that takes a dump on me, but um, <clears throat> they are running pretty consistently and uh, I am moving through orders relatively quickly. So you're gonna get notifications now, which is pretty good. And then when you do cut to order, you're also gonna get notifications. So yeah, pretty happy that I put that in place. It's actually helping you guys and it cuts down on the emails that I'm getting from you. Now, of course, um, if your order takes more than like three weeks to get to you, there is another automated email that goes out through Shopify, which is a separate program that I have. That just says, hey, sorry for the delay. You know, we're working on it. Um, right now, the turnaround time for 3D printed items that are you know, more in depth than just like a pump guard or like a filter sock holder or something basic um, is about three weeks, two to three weeks, depending on what it is. And uh, that's just kind of average. And it's kind of been like that for the majority of the year. So uh, with that said, <clears throat> I'm trying to think my eyes are getting super dry. Voice is dry, got to wrap this video up um, and then work on some orders. But uh, other than that, let's go to move on to some personal stuff. Uh, the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu tournament in Maryland is next month. It's actually a month from today. Um, I have decided, I went to a dietitian and I was originally cutting down to the 185 pounds. Uh, right now I'm 205. Um, and it just wasn't safe to cut down to uh, 185. Even if I had, even if I had gone to 185, I'd have to have basically zero body fat to even get that weight with the amount of muscle that I have currently. So I would sacrifice a lot of muscle and strength to get to that weight. Uh, so I decided that I'm just, I'm just going to fight for between the 186 and the 210, I think it is, so or 211. So I'm going to fight in that bracket. Um, you know, being 5'8", 205 right now, I'm going to cut down to 195 and then um, carve up and kind of get ready at about 200 pounds for the competition so it's uh it's it's an interesting weight class but because you know there's just uh you know i can't get to 185 without sacrificing all these gains right now there's no gains but it just wasn't safe there's not enough time and it's not something i'm i'm willing to do right now so with that said i've been taking uh, a lot of additional time for training weightlifting, eating correctly all that good stuff and then just focusing on cardio and endurance and and trying to get ready for for the fights. I think there's five scheduled for that day. Um, I think I don't really know how it all works. Um, I guess if you lose, you not do anymore. I don't know. I'm going to have to check with the coaches and see. But either way, uh, looking forward to it. I'm, I'm actually really excited. This is the first time I've had something that was uh, a, the perfect outlet. Now, there's been a lot of hobbies, you know, with salt water and just everything in general that I've done with motorcycles, sports cars, all sorts of stuff, drones, all that stuff. All really good hobbies, but uh, nothing compares to this. Um, the training, the intensity, the focus, the dedication, all the stuff you got to put into it. Um, 
just to make sure you can walk away from this situation next month. I mean, it's it's uh, super exciting. It's kind of, I wouldn't say scary, but it's definitely new for me. And uh, But I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to seeing how I turn out uh, under pressure because I seem to do pretty well now, and uh, there's not many of us going, so we'll see how it turns out. But other than that, that explains the, uh, I got kicked in the face yesterday, and I got to drain my ear, which is, that's the only thing I'm looking forward to. Like, I already have a look that's not very approachable, given the tattoos and my weird face. So let's go ahead and add jacked up ears to it, because that's, it is what it is. So, uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Um, I will, again, I'll try to do the live stream tomorrow. If not, then I will, um, I'll try to, I'm going to try to get something out before the end of the year. I really got to put some time aside. I, I do apologize. But if not, I will see you guys after the new year, okay? All right. Bye.